Welcome back. Next, we'll take a look at temporal arithmetic with the by clause. So when we see the word temporal, remember that just means related to time. And one of the most common uses of the by clause is when we're trying to group um, or aggregate our data over specific buckets of time. So for example, we might be asked to get the average price every hour. Um, or in this example here, we're looking at VWAP, the volume weighted average price um, every 15 minutes. Um, so before we jump into that example, let's just look at our time column in our trade table again. So if we select time from trade, we'll see we get this list of times back. And if we run meta on that, you'll see we get T. Now, if we take this again and convert, so we're going to select time as before, but also select time and changing it to a minute data type. Oops. You'll see now I'm only getting um, the minute data type. And if I run meta on that, I've converted that to minutes. I'm getting U there. And we can check out our data types reference um, on code.kx.com. So if we head to a reference card and data types, we'll see, yep, U is minutes. And I could have done the same with seconds as well. Um, so, we're going to combine that with the X bar command. So the X bar command, um, if we just actually check that out as well. So we head up to keywords and go to X bar up here. What this will do is basically um, round down um, our list of values into buckets. And you have two parameters. The first one is going to be your size of your bucket. And then the right hand side is going to be what you're trying to round down. Um, or bucket. So if we do a very simple example of this, if we say three X bar, and we go one, two, four, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 16, 17, for example, and we run this, you'll see here, I get a list of um, values back and they're all multiples of three. And this is saying one, falls into the bucket zero to three, two falls into the bucket zero to three, four falls into the bucket three to six, um, seven falls into bucket six to nine, and so on. So you see here, we get back a list of buckets. And if we were to group by this, um, we'd be able to um, get the, you know, aggregation of any of these values by these buckets. Um, so we're gonna do the exact same thing with our time column. And you'll see here, we're going to put it in as one of the by um, parameters. So we're grouping by SIM, first of all, and then we're also going to group by this 15 X bar time minute. And I might just split this onto a few lines just to show this a bit clearer. So we've got the columns we're selecting. So we're going to do kind of I, and then we're going to do our weighted average. Um, so the VWAP, and then we're going to group that by SIM and then into 15 minute buckets. Um, so you'll see here, um, before, if I had to just use time here instead of this, um, we can just do that and see the difference or even time dot minute, you'll see, um, I'm getting obviously every minute here. Um, and if I had to left that at time, which is far too granular, I want to group it at a higher level. So if I do minute, still too granular, I want to group it. Instead of every minute, I want to group it every 15 minutes. So now you see instead of 31 and 32, I'm getting 30, uh, 45 and 10 and so on. So it's every 15 minutes. So you can see that's super useful and I can make this anything I want. So I can do 16 minutes, for example, or I can do every half hour here. Um, so you can be really flexible with that depending on um, the granularity that you want your um, time buckets to have. And this here is known as dot notation. Um, when we're changing our time column um, using the full stop here. Okay, um, so definitely check out the code.kx.com um, on XBAR as well for some more examples there. Um, and we have a few exercises here just going over that. So um, first of all, show the total volume every 1.5 minutes from our trade table um, and further break this down by SIM. So very similar to what we just did there. And then we want you to use X bar to generate a count of the number of trades. Um, so for the last trade date, 
and then your intervals should be in sizes of 10. So you will be um, using X bar here, um, but with the size column rather than the time column. Okay, so have a go with those and I'll see you in our next video.